Not many members know that I actually grew up in a very strong union family and that food processing is actually a very, very big part of my life today and was part of my life in a very large way when I was a child. My grandfather actually owned a small family meats business. It was called Family Meats. <laughs> And uh, so my uncles uh, and my grandpa had this meat shop for as long as I could remember. And growing up, of course, us grandkids were the free labor. So I have so many memories of my grandfather spending time with him in the meat shop, uh, him trying to teach me how to wrap meat, which is not easy to do. Uh, you think it is, but once you actually try to wrap meat, it is very difficult. Um, I remember you know, walking into the big smokehouse and seeing all the meat hanging. Uh, my weekends were spent working in what we called the wiener wagon, which uh, Grandpa and my uncles and my grandma would pull to flea markets. And I'd work the window selling sausage on a bun and beef jerky and beer sausage. Um, so those were actually some of my most fondest childhood memories was working in that meat shop. My parents actually met at a grocery trip chain that was called OK Economy uh, during an organizing drive. My mom actually was a cashier there and my dad was working for the union as an organizer. And so I, I've heard lots of stories growing up as a child about um, what it meant for workers to join a union and form that solidarity amongst each other. Uh, both my parents became very, very involved with unions. Uh, my grandfather, actually, before he started his family meat business, was a shop steward uh, as well at a retail grocery store. And so as a child, as I worked my way through growing up, my first job was actually at Superstore. So I worked there for a bit under UFCW as my union uh, while I was going to high school. and. I think because my parents, my grandparents, my uncles were all so active in their unions, whether it was you know, uncles working at a mine uh, with Steelworkers Union or you know, with UFCW or with SEIU, I was always, I grew up around picket lines. Um, people always say, oh, I've been, on, I've been on three picket lines. I've been on picket lines since I was three. <laughs> uh, I went to a lot of women's rallies as a child. Um, lots of uh, involvement in social justice issues and politics. And so as a teenager, when I hit my kind of rebellion years, I thought, okay, I don't want to be on any more rallies. I'm just going to do my thing as a teenager and work at Superstore. And, um, and then when I was in high school, my teachers went on a work to rule. And of course, my uh, labor and union blood running through my veins and you know the values that my parents instilled in me uh, were just something that overcame and I ended up getting very involved in the teachers work to rule in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan and led um, hundreds of students to protest and support our teachers during that and I think it was at that moment that I that I really realized that I just can never get away from believing that workers deserve better um, that fairness is something that just doesn't come without somebody or some people or a group of people always standing up for it. I think that was the moment when I realized that, wow, bosses just don't give respect. These teachers had to fight for respect and they needed people to support them. My parents and my grandparents taught me that honesty and doing the right thing is all that matters. No matter how difficult it is, it is what drives the world to be a better place and so that's kind of how I guide myself is no matter how hard things might be, always fight for fairness and respect and always be honest and always stand up for what is right.